welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, well, today in this evening's video, um, we're just going to put the, the VMware Workstation 17.6.2 and um, on hold on the back burner for the moment. And uh, we're also going to put uh, VMware vSphere Hypervisor on the uh, on the back burner as well and we're going to actually return to our little mini series um on our synology nas that we started with a brand new nas that we have here in the office in the home lab um which we did our first video on uh, setting it up out of the box um and um one of the things um that immediately that you will notice when you connect to a synology, synology nas is that you get these really annoying uh, your connection is not private because if you actually inspect the the certificate which has been provided with the nas then you will see basically that it's a self-signed certificate provided by synology anyway so we can fairly quickly uh in this video um resolve that issue not that it's a big issue it's more cosmetic than anything and a pain in the ass uh that you keep having to basically click uh, advanced and chrome's going to keep nagging at you so what i'm going to do um i'm going to show you in this uh video how we can and as you will see there i've actually basically set up um the stenology nas with uh, Synology NAS's new MFA uh, rather than using a user ID and a password. Um, I think it's probably common knowledge by now after 11 years, uh, certainly I've been using them, um, that the uh, default username uh, has been admin on them for a long, long time. And I think that a number of uh, Synology NAS's in home labs have been attacked by malware because everybody really knows that the default administrator name is admin so now in the latest version of the dsm 7.2 and i think for a long time i actually think actually certainly seven i think seven and later um they've been encouraging people not to use admin and i think the admin account is now actually uh, disabled and uh, you would have seen me create a new one called nas dash admin um not that i was worried too much about um the fact that people know that that is nas admin because now um, with MFA that actually basically comes to Synology as using their application on my phone, um, then it's it's all now um, well protected as well as it can be. Anyway, so the first thing that we need to do is to click Control Panel and go to Security and select Certificate. And here we can click Add uh, to create a, a new certificate. Um, or we can actually basically um, import certificate or get a certificate from Let's Encrypt, which certainly makes it a lot easier for people that are not familiar. Um, but here um, in our home lab, of course, we have our own um, Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services server, our own CA. And um, I do like to put our own CA um doesn't cost us anything however let's encrypt doesn't cost you anything anyway um so if i actually basically just go back um then how we actually basically get a signing request uh which is required if you're going to send it to godaddy or if you're going to use your own ca then you need to send it a um certificate signing request to csr and we do that by selecting um uh certificate settings advanced and we actually basically create um here where it says create signing request bracket csr uh we can actually basically just create our own csr so i'm going to use a private key length of 2048 i'm going to give it a common name um of so i'm going to make sure that the common name is the same as the fqdn so in this particular case uh, it's going to be uh, Cyrus Nash 4 dash Cyrus dash consultants dot co dot uk. Um, so I'm actually basically going to put in my email address. I'm going to put in my location, uh, which is really the United Kingdom. So I'm assuming that that's if this is order is Great Britain GB. 
uh, our state, um, our city. Um, I'm going to put our state as East Riding of Yorkshire. Uh, I'm going to put our our city as uh, York. Not that these really going to make any difference. And uh, Cyrus Computer Consultants Limited. You could put any old Tosh in here, really, to be honest. It's not really going to make any difference to the certificate. And I'm going to put Cyrus HQ. I'm going to foot by next. And I'm going to click download. And that's going to give me an archive.zip. And if we open up that zip file and we can see that we've got our private key our server dot key and we've got our csr um so if i uh, i'm not going to do i'm just doing extract these and then i'm going to use a notepad don't want to download an update so there's our certificate signing request so i'm going to click copy and I'm now basically going to say um, request a certificate. I'm going to basically request an advanced certificate. Uh, I'm going to paste. Now, if you've been following these videos and if you've been following the VMware vSphere ones that I did, um, then you will see that I actually created our own certificates from our own CA uh, from the Cyrus CA for ESXi and for vCenter server. And I think I probably did the same thing with the Turing Pi as well. So I'm going to basically say that this is a web server. And I'm not going to forget by pasting in the attributes required for um, the Microsoft um, Active Directory Certificate Services CA. I'm going to basically just put in this additional attribute for the subject alternative name. And then I'm going to click Submit and wait a few seconds and hopefully um we're then basically going to get a um certificate that we can download so i'm going to download the base encoded certificate i'm going to download the base 64 encoded certificate and i'm going to select download certificate and i'm just going to click save so cert new dot sir is our certificate but i'm actually going to set i'm going to put it in our archive folder um okay so let's go back to our synology nas and let's click okay so if i have a little look at our archive folder um, we've got our private key and we've got our new certificate so those are the items that we're going to need to import uh, back into our synology nas um, so if i now basically click add i can now um, import so I can say replace an existing certificate uh, or I can say add a new certificate so let's select add a new certificate which says import a certificate or get a certificate from let's encrypt so followed by next um, so I'm now going to basically just copy and paste give it a description cyrusnaz.consultants.co.uk um i'm going to select next so it now wants the private key so the private key is just looking to see where our archive was which is in downloads archive so our private key is in downloads archive so that's server.key our certificate is cert new dot dot cer that's the one we actually downloaded and we also need the intermediate certificate now that's the actual ca so i'm going to go back to our certificate server and i'm going to say download a ca certificate uh so i want base 64 um that's the certificate i want and i'm going to say download ca certificate so i'm just going to basically call that ca so i don't get confused into the archive as well archive folder 
let's just get rid of all this go back to here go back so now i'm going to basically browse and i'm going to select rca so i'm just going to check here so it must be in x509 pem or der format private key supports both ecc rsa formats so we've got our server key which is our private key we've got our certificate which was issued by rca which is cert new dots er and i've got our, our intermediate certificate rca ca dot cert and i'm going to click ok and hopefully if i've got all that correct then there is our new certificate uh, which has been issued so it was issued by cyrus das consultants.pleco.ca and the subject of the name is cyrus nas 4 dash cyrus dash consultants.co.uk now i didn't remove the synology certificate there or replace it you may notice just in case everything went completely peak tong um, and i could go back to it so now what we actually do um, if we go to the settings we've got this lovely little interface that synology actually pro provides us with where we can actually select the sticker that we want to use um, for the various services um, so i can i'm going to basically for ftps i'm going to use that certificate and i'm going to use that certificate and for synology drive server i'm going to use that certificate storage console i'm going to use that certificate and the system default i'm going to use that certificate as well so i've not removed the self-signed certificate that synology created for us uh, i've kept that just in case and i'm going to click ok uh, okay after the change the corresponding services will briefly be paused and then restarted are you want are you sure yes so it's processing that it's just rebooting restarting all those webby services uh, that are using that um, certificate and what we'll do um, i will um, close this browser window and uh, we'll log on again and we'll check to see whether or not that the the certificate is working for us okay in fact actually it actually did it for us um it actually basically um closed the control panel down and restarted and we've logged back in again now uh, but it's still saying not secure so i'm just gonna have a cheeky little look at the certificate this time um the common name has changed to saras nas 4 saras daskins not certainly k organization name is all correct um now, I have seen this before, and often it's to do with um, caching um, in in the browser. So if I just hit a, I'm going to be a bit lazy here, and I'm just going to copy that. Uh, if I just do a big X out of that and paste that in there again, then you can see now that that connection is secure, and that certificate is is valid and we've no longer got that uh, privacy issue anymore so that's it um i told you it was going to be a really really quick one um less than 15 minutes um so we're going to build on these um videos on this little mini series with our synology nas um so again um we have in this particular video we've requested um, and created a certificate signing request uh, we've pasted that into our own ca here uh, our Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services server. Um, we've made sure that we downloaded Base64 uh, encoded certificates and the CA, and then using the private key generated by the CSR on the Synology NAS um, and the certificate and the CA, uh, we've then basically added them to our Synology NAS. It's restarted the web services for us automatically, and we have now got rid of that pain in the ass that pops up in your browser all the time so quite a simple and quick one that again if you like this video then please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you don't like the video uh, then please uh, thumbs down and again um, you know um, please put your comments uh, in the description if there's something that you would like to see uh, on Hancock's VMware half hour uh, then let me know so once again thanks so much for watching and come back soon Goodbye now.